My name is Justina Mukoko. I come from Zimbabwe. Um, I'm born of a family in a family of uh, seven kids, two girls and uh, five boys. Grew up for, um, I think, a lot of my time without my dad. He died when I was five. And um, I've really grown up with uh, my mother, especially. And um, I have a 21-year-old son. Um, I'm a single parent at the moment. My husband died in 1995 when my son was only four. And um, I think in all these years, we have really just uh, been the two of us. My career actually started as a teacher. Immediately after college, it wasn't easy to find a job of choice. So um, I found myself teaching. Um, but obviously I wasn't born a teacher. And um, I did not last in teaching. I then found myself working as a journalist with a public broadcaster in Zimbabwe, the Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation, um, where I worked on the National Languages Desk to translate, edit news from English into the local languages, Shona and Debele. But um, with time, I then found myself also presenting news on the flagship bulletin of the Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation, the 8 p.m. news. Um, and I think um, working as a journalist is really the work that I did in my prime years. And um, with time, I found myself growing out of, um, out of uh, journalism. I do miss broadcasting, but I think um, I'm in the right space at the moment, working as a human rights defender. I'm a human rights activist in Zimbabwe. And um, in 2008, I had um, the most unfortunate experience when I was um, abducted uh, by state agents and uh, kept in communicado for 21 days accused of a crime that um, I never committed um, and then kept at a maximum security prison for 68 days and then eventually months later I was cleared of all the charges.